Well, I woke up this morning and I heard some really terrible news. And honestly, this was not the video I wanted to make today. Um, I just actually hit 300,000 subscribers and, you know, I wanted to thank you guys a little bit. So I guess I'll do it here. Thank you for 300,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's about it. Um, we're gonna move on. But you might be asking, Corny, what is the terrible news? Actually, you won't be asking that question because it's probably literally in the title. Um, two of our beloved Gorg games got nuked. And I mean literally just nuked. Gone off the face of the earth. Never seen ever again. So how about we back up the timeline a little bit and let's talk about maybe why these games got banned. Now, pretty recently, a pretty big figure in the Roblox community actually came and played some of the Roblox score games, which is actually sick. And I want absolutely no bad blood between me and him, but you might know the person. He's a little bit popular. His name's Flamingo, and he played a few Roblox score games. And so, within that little time of eight minutes that he made, Roblox score went from being kind of obscure to being, oh my god, it's on the front page of Roblox. And because it's on the front page of Roblox, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking at it, and I guess they decided, hey, let's pull the plug on this, because, you know, it may doesn't show Roblox in the best light. And I say this because... Roblox has a lot of eyes on it right now, and I mean a lot of eyes. Well, first of all, Roblox is the biggest game in the world, period. Most played game of all time. Pretty wild, right? But we also have the fact that the Roblox engine is getting crazier and crazier, and they're announcing the Roblox Game Fund, which will, I think, fund games so they can make cool stuff. We have Roblox Frontlines that just came out, and a whole bunch of other games that are coming out that are taking the Roblox engine to the next level. Which is funny because, you know, Roblox score has been doing that for the past, like, year and a half now, so... But this isn't just a one-off thing. The reason why I'm making this video is not because one game got banned, but because two games got banned at the same time. And if you're wondering what two games got banned, not surprising whatsoever, Redbox 2 got banned. But what's very surprising and actually really concerning is the fact that Neighborhood War got banned. Yes. Neighborhood War, the game that has been around for years, probably the oldest Roblox score game known to man, just taken off the face of the earth. And what's really, really weird about that is the Flamingo video actually does not show Neighborhood War whatsoever, but it shows a bunch of other gore games that are perfectly up and perfectly fine right now, which are all stolen copies, by the way. And if you're wondering what the ban message was, well, here, I'll go ahead and show you because it seems like a personalized ban message. Banned for three days. Moderator note, Roblox does not use, Roblox does not allow the use of gore content. Your game, Redbox 2, has been permanently suspended for having inappropriate content. This is a violation of our terms and service. Please note that the development of group games falls on the game's group owner. Please ensure that your group's developers are not creating games that violate Roblox terms of service, yada, yada, yada. You guys know the rest. And so you're probably wondering what's the future of Redbox 2? It's looking kind of grim. The owner of Redbox 2 put in their Discord, uh, bye guys, with a skull emoji, uh, meaning that he's dead probably. And uh, he shows the picture of Redbox 2 being banned. And then he posted a funny meme about, <laughs> about Redbox 2 being banned, which I'll play right here. This is my favorite one so far. Nice job team. And as for the Neighborhood War developer, I couldn't find a Discord or anything, but what I've noticed is that their profile is also content deleted. So, it doesn't look like these two games are going to be coming back anytime soon. I would say maybe Neighborhood War might come back because it's been, it's such an iconic game and it's such an old game that the developer will it'll probably figure it out. But as for Redbox 2, it, it's, it's probably over. However, this isn't the end necessarily because there is still one group of people that are still actively working on terrible, terrible things for Roblox. And most people might know who I'm talking about or what game I'm talking about, but there is still one chance that we have at Roblox score. Now, chances are Roblox is watching this, so I'm not going to say it out loud, but I will leave a link in the description down below. And I talked to the dude and it doesn't look like he's going to be taking down his game anytime soon. I feel like he's probably just going to ride it out at this point. But let's recap everything. So today we found out that Redbox 2 and Neighborhood War got permanently banned from Roblox. And most likely there's more to come. Is this the end of Roblox score? No, it's not. There are a hundred stolen copies of Redbox and Euphoria blood testing and all sorts of Roblox score games. So I don't believe that it'll be, you know, it'll be gone anytime soon. 
However, with these leaks, it's also important to know who actually made these gore games. And please, 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 if there's one thing to take away from this video, please remember that these two individuals were responsible for so much good times on Roblox. And sadly, with the fall of Redbox 2 and Neighborhood War, a, a thousand copies are going to come up, probably all with cash grabs. So just be prepared. But I'll keep you guys updated if anything happens with the two games. Like I said, it's looking really, really grim for them. So who knows? But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. And let me know what I should do next in the comments. Because honestly, I love making these commentary videos. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. And thank you for 300k.